In a dazzling display of regal splendor, King Charles and Queen Camilla graced the mansion house with their esteemed presence on Wednesday evening, celebrating their majestic coronation. The event, shimmering with the essence of British heritage, saw Charles III emphasizing the deep-rooted values that bind the British realm. This grand affair not only celebrated the monarchy, but also lauded the tireless efforts of the City of London's civic bodies and its historic trade guilds. Significantly, this marked the inaugural official visit of King Charles to London's heart since his ascension to the throne. The radiant Queen Camilla, adorned in a masterfully crafted black ensemble with intricate silver designs by the renowned Bruce Oldfield, stood by her king. Her choice of jewelry, a poignant homage to her beloved late mother-in-law, was nothing short of breathtaking. Notably, this very ensemble had previously made an appearance at a state banquet in Germany, commemorating the royal couple's diplomatic visit. The crowning jewel of her attire was the late Queen Elizabeth II's illustrious tiara, known as the Girls of Great Britain and Northern Ireland Diamond Tiara. Complementing this were a diamond necklace and earrings, heirlooms of the royal lineage. In a move that many interpret as a subtle message to Meghan Markle, Queen Camilla's tiara choice was significant. This very collection, which Meghan was notably excluded from, boasts pieces that have historical and sentimental value. The tiara, a gift to Queen Mary in 1893, had graced the late Queen Elizabeth II during numerous state occasions. Its estimated value stands at a staggering $500,000. Additionally, the diamond necklace, a gift to Princess Elizabeth on her 21st birthday from the South African government, originally showcased 21 diamonds. In 1952, it was redesigned to feature 15 prominent stones, with the remaining crafted into a bracelet, which elegantly adorned Queen Camilla's wrist. Royal enthusiasts were quick to show her praises on Queen Camilla's impeccable fashion sense. Echoing the sentiments of many, a royal aficionado shared on social platforms, Camilla's elegance is unmatched. The tiara's selection was a masterstroke. Another chimed in, expressing admiration for the tiara and jewelry, but found the dress slightly intricate, adding, The Parisian blue bat cape was a personal favorite. The queen looked ethereal, and the king, in his crisp white tie, was the epitome of grace. Amidst the festivities, King Charles's profound speech resonated with many, outlining his vision for a sustainable future and the importance of mutual respect. However, Subtle undertones in his address seem to contrast with Meghan's often convoluted narratives. The king's emphasis on rising above pettiness and acrimony highlighted the stark differences in perspectives between the royals. It's a tale of two worldviews, one rooted in hope and progress, the other in skepticism and restraint.